Load and make ready. Please, load and make ready. <laughs> and Locho clear. So the East German Makarov. Yeah, it's a gun. It shoots bullets. These the close range stuff is probably all good. It kind of stinks because, and I'll talk about this more in a minute, but the uh, I have to change my grip to shoot it. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. After I forgot, I had to reload the gun. <laughs> oh. Two alpha. Nice. Clean with the Mac up t up close. You know what probably isn't going to be clean? This target. <laughs> Those sights are difficult, eh? Sights are very crude, and not having the normal grip I have on the gun really messes with me. Two, three, four. Five. Hey, they're all there! <laughs> <laughs> all right, one alpha, three Charlie, two Delta. Right, so I, I had to massively switch my grip because the decocker stroke safety on the, the side of the slide, instead of being up like the M9s, so it's out of the way of your thumb, your firing hand thumb, when it is disengaged. This one is down. So every time the slide cycles, that decocker just rips at your thumb. So what I had to do is to shift my thumb wider and press it down. That means that my support hand grip also had to like shift and be funky. So I did not control the recoil very well on this. And especially when I was shooting this target, I could feel it. You'll probably see it in, um, I'm readjusting my grip constantly. And if you look at my shooting in any of the other runs that we've done, never readjust the grip because once I get it, that's the grip I'm going with. So you'll never see me readjust mid run uh, or, or mid string. And on this one, I had to, I, I'm, I was readjusting after every shot. Shooting this against the PPK, this is literally, we, we've shot these back to back in the same day. So this is still from the PPK tearing up my hand. Um, dramatically easier to shoot than the PPK because every shot, it wasn't tearing my flesh. Um, dramatically more difficult to shoot when compared to the P7. The P7 is in the same exact size category or very close uh, size category to the PPK and to the Mac. And it is dramatically easier to shoot more quickly and more accurately in both categories. I had a little bit of trouble with the heel release. That's semi-normal because I'm not really used to it. But even the heel release seemed harder to access. It was stiffer. It just wasn't as clean as with the P7. So the P7's heel release lets you let you kind of grip the base of the the grip and just pull it in and strip the mag on the makarov i'm having to push it out and then try to strip the mag it's just the ergonomics aren't there for me Do you enjoy arguing with other viewers on the internet on which rifle performs better on practical accuracy? Well, we have a solution for you. Go to our Patreon page and scroll down. You'll find the practical accuracy scoreboard where we have ranked and compiled all the data of all the firearms we have tested on the practical accuracy course. Furthermore, it's already separated into the different categories, so you can go back to your argument as quickly as possible. 
And whether you decide to support us via Patreon, subscription, or just a normal viewer, we thank you. Seven one six is Jill nine six four six eight pack red con one green to green top copy over. Jill nine six this is seven one six Roger over. One six six.